So if you're looking for an overly easy aquarium to keep, then African cichlids are definitely worth looking at. So um, this one's got a beautiful little cuckoo cat in the bottom, Cynodonis catfish, with those lovely barbells, basically goes around looking for any detritus it can scavenge. And another, another big fella here. Then other than that, it's just a big, big mix of African cichlids. And these are all juveniles, so they all look pretty plain when they're babies. And then when they're older, they look absolutely amazing. Got a deformed one here. See how its tail's all pinched? And that's usually due to a um, bit of inbreeding. A bit of good old brother love sister business. Which um, certainly happens if you don't keep your gene pools as diverse as possible. Um, this tank's decorated with some fake plants, some dead coral, some Texas holy rock, and some coral sand. I I'm not a big fan of coral sand because these fish and many fish that actually are over coral sand will often scratch a lot um, because the coral sand's a bit rough for their gill lining and does tend to damage their gill lining. So, so it's not that you can't do it because you can but I prefer not to. I'm just got a little pump there for turning over the water. It's got a heater in the back. It's got an aerator. Um, this is an Aqua One aquarium, so it's got a top filter on it. Yeah, nice, very low maintenance little system. There'd be a, a couple of Costumous catfish in there, I would imagine. So we've got this fish here, is a Travasse. Labiotrophius travasse, under that's an electric yellow. Then you've got um, that one there, is a juvenile red empress. Then you've got a Lombardi here. You've got some Venustus. Some marbled peacock. Just an assortment of common, lovely cichlids.